This webinar is going to teach you fixed overhead variances. I'm going to show you what the fixed overhead variances are, compute them with you, interpret them. I'm going to make you aware how different fixed overhead is from direct material, direct labor, and variable overhead. What you learned for variances in those areas will not help you even a little bit with fixed overhead variances. They are completely different. There is no crossover. I'm going to give you some examples to practice on and I'm going to include data you don't need. Those are called distractors and they help you get more solid in knowing what you do need. I'm going to discuss how fixed overhead is different. I'm going to show you and compute the two uh, variances, help you interpret them, and then give you a couple of comprehension check questions. What is fixed overhead? These are costs that support production, but don't vary with production. Property taxes, the security system at the plant, the manager's salary that is in charge of the plant, rent or depreciation for equipment in the plant or the plant building, those are all fixed per month or per year, and they don't go up or down if production goes up or down. When we apply fixed overhead to production, we need some kind of application rate. We can't just put the whole annual amount in there in one chunk. There is no standard for fixed overhead. Why? A standard is a recipe of quantity and price per unit but there is no extra per unit cost with fixed overhead. If you make more, you don't need more fixed overhead. That's not true for material labor and variable overhead. And so fixed overhead is for the time period, not per unit. Absorption costing, the gap rules, generally accepted accounting principles, require that you put some fixed overhead in each unit. Even though there's not a standard amount per unit, you still have to put some in there. And the way you do that is by estimating the fixed cost per unit each year when you do your budget or your plan. But that changes every year. Standard cost for material labor and overhead, variable overhead, don't change every year. They only change if the product actually changes or the process actually changes. But fixed overhead, we're going to have an annual application rate, but not a standard per unit. The two variances for fixed overhead are spending and volume. Spending is what you spent versus what you thought you should have spent at the beginning of the year, your annual budget or static budget. This is where spending surprises end up. So if you spend too much or you don't spend on something you thought you were going to use, that difference is going to show up in your spending variance. Your volume variance is the difference between how much activity you use to make the the rate and how much activity you ended up having. It is always done at standard. So it is not impacted. The volume variance doesn't capture any inefficiencies or price swings from standard. You always use your standard quantity to calculate your volume variance. So let's have a look and see how this goes. What if Fixed overhead is expected to be $550,000 for the year, and we would like to use direct labor hours to apply fixed overhead to the units, because we have to apply overhead to the units. And our budget is based on a direct labor hour expectation of 55000 Direct labor hours and the standard per unit is five hours per unit. So you can probably tell right away that they expect to make 11,000 units, the 55,000 divided by five, right? Uh, so what is our fixed overhead application rate? What is the annual rate for this particular year? You would take the fixed overhead and divide by the expected hours, and you would get $10 per direct labor hour. So now you will apply to work in process $10 every time there is a standard labor hour. 